Welcome back, guys. Thanks for tuning in to another edition of the Sim Standard Radio League, guys. As you can see, my standings there. I'm coming into this game six and six, guys. I told you I'm a mediocre player in terms of this league, guys. You know, middle of the pack. It is what it is, guys. So let's get it started, guys. Playing against the Cincinnati Bengals, and of course, that is a rivalry in real life, and it's a great competitive rivalry here in this particular franchise, guys, because me and this guy always seem to have shootouts. We go back and forth. So let's get right into it, guys. As you can see, the Bengals gets the ball first. He's driving, you know, making some nice passes just over the cornerback right there. Fullback dive here on first and ten. The second and eight, guys. He goes with the play action, and A.J. Green with an acrobatic catch. And he's driving down the field, guys, as you can see, on the 23-yard line. Second and ten, dumping it off short. I'm not really sure who this guy is, number two. I'm pretty sure it's someone he may have gotten in the draft or what have you. But he's doing a good job, guys. Tyler Eifert is coming up big here. First and ten from the 12. Jeremy Hill running the ball, gets it down to the eight. Second and six here, guys, and he finds Eifert underneath, almost gets in the end zone. It is now third and two. And the seeds part, guys, and he's able to get into the end zone. So he strikes first. So here we are coming right out, and we're going to find Antonio Brown across the middle, guys. Big pickup on first down. First and ten. We're going to run Le'Veon Bell up the middle, guys, and we get pick up another 11 yards or so right there. Feed him the ball again, and... Wait a minute. When you hear that music, you know it's going to be a big play. And Martavis Bryant takes it in, guys. And just like that, we're back 7-7, seven to seven, guys. And here he... What? What? What was that? Guys, did it look like my defender was going to be in position right there? Doesn't matter now because then he goes deep downfield to A.J. Green and he's already on the four. And he takes it right in, guys. And just like that, it's back 14 to 7. So here we are, guys, sticking to this, you know, same game plan. Try to run the ball. Find Martavis Bryant here for a quick seven yards. Third and three. We have some guys open, but I get that crazy animation, guys. You know when you try to throw the ball, and for whatever reason, guys, your quarterback gets drawn into that long animation and it makes it look like the tuck rule or whatever. I don't know, man, but and look at this. Look at this. Did y'all see that? Ryan Shazier is injured, guys. This has been the bane of my existence, guys, in this particular league. Guys, guys are continuing to get hurt. Now, showing you this punt return, guys, just to show you I did a little something. Nice return there. Starting the ball here on the 43. We're going to try to run Le'Veon Bell. And Pac-Man Jones makes the tackle. So, it's second and seven, guys. And once again, look, that same little animation. I just wish that animation would go away. Look at the dart right there by Ben Roethlisberger. But let me get back to that animation. I wish it would go away. Because it's so frustrating to see your guy go follow through with the pass, but don't release the ball. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, guys, it didn't cost us anything. We're able to get into the end zone right there. It's now 14 to 14. Runs a nice screen here. Big hit right there by Sean Davis. Saves a potential touchdown, possibly. He's going deep again, but nope. Mike Mitchell. Mike Mitchell is going to get in front of the ball that time, guys, and we're going to pick it off. So first and ten here, a minute or so left in the second quarter. We're just trying to get in position to get some points, dinking and dunking. 57 seconds, guys, third and six, and we're able to pick it up here with Burks, one of our backup running backs, guys. So we're driving. 50 seconds left. We try to go downfield, <laughs> and Ladarius Green is unable to hold on to the ball, guys, and it's just not looking good, guys. I don't feel like I'm going to get in position to score. We're on our own 44. And look at that crazy animation right there. So, just not going to happen, guys. So, as you can see, we're here in the third quarter. Still nothing going on, guys. And I, I got to show you a replay of this. Look, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> I guess he just barely got his hand in there, I guess. But why didn't he throw the ball out in front? I don't know. And look at that guy's near pick. We miss it right there. So he's able to pick up a first down. It's first and 10 from the 43 guys. And he's in control right now for the most part. He's driving. He's driving. Look at this. Boy, if A.J. Green would have caught that, I would have lost my mind. Third and eight right now. Trying to play some defense. And yes, Artie Burns comes up with the pick. So he missed the first one. Comes back and redeems himself on that play. So now we're in control, guys. We're going to go play action again. Deep, 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 deep. And Martavis Bryant is able to make the catch. You know, he wins the dice roll, I guess you would say there. 
All right, guys. So now it's first and ten on the 39. Lose a couple of yards there. Second and 12. We're going to go deep to Antonio Brown. Well, not necessarily deep. I guess intermediate. And we're going to get the first down. So now look at this nice cut back by myself, if I do say so myself. Putting us in position, guys. Try to run the ball again here on first down. Nothing doing. Second down, trying to feed it to Bell again. Third down, I'm going to continue to run. And the reason why, guys, is because these games usually go like this with my opponent. Didn't want to do anything stupid like throw an interception. So I decided to just run the ball three times and play for the field goal. You know, be a little conservative there. Just try to get the lead. And look at this. Would you look at this? What a play, guys. But you know you didn't hear that music, right? You didn't hear that music, so it's not a big play. It's a booth review. And it's overturned, guys. That was a crazy sequence right there, man. I looked at the replay, and yeah, he was actually down. But that was amazing to see that. And there's A.J. Green again with that same animation. We got to get some animation variety in this game, man. I tell you, he's going deep again. And look, Artie Burns is getting caught for the pass interference, guys. That's huge right there. So that puts him in position. Puts him in position, guys. Starting the fourth quarter here. Third and goal. And we come up with another pick. My defense, I'm telling you, has been playing lights out, guys. We came up with quite a few, quite a few takeaways that really kept us in this game, if you want to be honest about it. So here we are trying to run the ball again, guys. Trying to play a little conservative, and we get some space. We get some room. Le'Veon Bell doesn't have the best speed. But that's all right. We'll take it, guys. So now we're going to go play action, and we're going to hit Ladarius Green. Dangerous pass right there, but we're able to sneak it in. So we're going to go back to the run game, guys. Try to control the clock the best we can. Just trying to get the run game going, picking up first downs. Y'all know how I do. That's how I play. And here's Ronnie Hillman helping out. If I would have gotten to the outside there, guys, possibly, possibly been a touchdown score right there. But we'll do it on this play. So Le'Veon Bell gets in and you know we're feeling like we're gonna ice the game right here but look at this missed tackles <coughs> excuse me guys it got me choked up over here missed tackles perfect play call right there against my man coverage and just like that it's a three-point game again now the pressure's on me and look at this already third and 12 guys i'm not feeling good not feeling good i'm gonna drop back deep 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 and no Marcus Wheaton is unable to come up with a catch, so now I got to play some defense here, guys. Great tackle right there by Artie Burns. That was a nice looking sequence right there. I really enjoyed that one. Another big hit right here by Mike Mitchell knocking the ball out. We got him in a third and ten. But when you hear that music, look at the pressure from behind. Causes a bad throw. And Golson is able to pick it off. Beautiful play right there. Look at this, guys. Just waiting for my blocker. Allowing him to overrun the play. We almost get into the end zone right there. So it's first and goal from the one. Going to hand it off to Le'Veon Bell. And Le'Veon Bell is going to pretty much put the game on ice. But let's see what my opponent is able to do. He still has a little, a little under two minutes. Goes to A.J. Green. And I didn't get in position in time, guys. As you can see, I was controlling Mike Mitchell. I knew where he was going. But was unable to get there in time. He made a big play. And look at this. A.J. Green again. I'm telling you guys, what a shootout. Every time. Every time. And it comes down to the onside kick here. We're able to recover it. And all we're thinking about now is just running out the clock. Look at Bell. Look at Bell. Rumbling, bumbling, stumbling. Fighting all he can, guys. Second and two. You get the first down. The game is over. It's third and one right now. So I'm showing you this sequence, guys, letting you know exactly what I saw here. And there it is, guys. And I'm going to show sportsmanship, stay in bounds, not going to try to score. And that's going to do it. That kills the game. Great game, guys. Like always, against my opponent here, the Cincinnati Bengals. Neither one of us are having great seasons. I'm not going to say his record. But my record, guys, right now is only 7-6. and six. Again, a very mediocre performance in this league. And that's how it goes. Great players in this league. Outstanding players. And I'm happy just to be competitive, guys. But that's all I got for you, man. So definitely stay tuned. I got a lot more footage coming, guys. I'm going to get back on schedule and start uploading videos on a daily basis. And, yeah, appreciate you guys watching. When you see that screaming face, make sure you click on that to sub. And like always, guys, it'll never hurt you to hit that like button. 
All right, guys, until next time, let me know what you think. Peace.